clue. Welcome to Resident Evil. My name is Leon Kennedy, and I'm a new police officer cadet. Hey, 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 hey! Put respect on his name. Yes, he did save the president's daughter. And he also was confirmed to be Hispanic and Resident Okay, nobody knows what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Except for... Anybody who's played Resident Evil 4. No. Come on, you remember that scene at the end of 1-2? Yeah, where... Where he says, you carry the same blood as us. And he's definitely not talking about the plug. Well, no, he's talking about the plug, but I choose to believe he's also talking about... Sure, Leon, Leon Kennedy can be half Hispanic. The other half is Asian. Why Asian? Um, is he Asian? No, I just, I'm just messing. I just picked something that he wasn't. Hey, 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 wait a minute. But the plug is dudes are, like, Hispanic, and they carry the same blood. It's not just the plug, because the plugas aren't blood. Yeah, but they go in the blood. Anyway, just yeah, hit they... the A button. Anyways. <laughs> so last time, we got the remaining two masks and took out the blood demon in the coffin. You can't kill you, but... Uh, and now... We didn't take it out, we just walked away. We killed him. Oh, yeah, that's right. You just I shotgunned, shotgunned him, him in the face like three times and he died. So we got this emblem, which we can now use to go to a different area. Unfortunately, Bridget accidentally went in the wrong door last time, so we have to make a huge loop around, but that's okay. We're gonna make a huge loop around and then we're gonna head out over there, but you can do any preparation we need real quick before we go out. Door. Ooh, pistol. Back. Yep. Why'd you turn that back on? Turn up. Oh, fuck, I didn't turn the mod on. <laughs> Okay, we'll just quickly, just quickly close the game. We'll, we'll do this quick, guys. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Uh, uh, it, I'm, I'm a little slow. Actually, I think we can leave the game open. I think that. Let's try something. Oh, never mind. It's already closed. Okay, one second. No, so, it isn't. Oh, it isn't. It might actually work if the game's open already. I forgot about that being a thing. <laughs> I like how terrified when we saw a door animation, we panicked. That was the scariest thing that's happened. <laughs> Oh, it's actually activated. Okay. Awesome. Sorry about that. We we don't want to see doors. We have a, we both have an irrational fear of doors opening, uh, which is why it was the scariest thing in the whole game. I can never leave my room. Hmm. Actually, that's why in my house there's not a door to my room. Yeah, and you just don't close doors. That's not even a joke. I literally don't have a door to my room. You you can't you can't you can't open doors if they're already closed. No, wait. If they're already open. I had one job. Bearing. Yeah, so I'm glad you have yet to question the stream title. Chris Redfield, Master of Football, Piano Avoider, Gun User. Yes, he is a Master of Football, a Piano Avoider, and a Gun User. So true. You know, I was just summing him up pretty effectively. He really is an icon. Someone's gonna see this title on YouTube and with no context. Some random Jack's film subscriber from like that one video is gonna see this and be like, what the hell? What's a football? Gamers don't know what fucking football is. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't play, I don't know, I don't know my brain immediately with you. If you don't play Duke Nukem 3D, you like men. <laughs> Wasn't, you said that was a real, like, ad. I think it was. It, had, like, it feels fake, but I wouldn't I even wouldn't, be surprised yeah. if it wasn't fake, you know? I wouldn't either. What is Chris Redfield Jesus? You know, that's a valid question. We'll be exploring that in Resident Evil 5. We really will. Is it, it's an origin story. Why do you think you... No. <gasps> okay, hear me out, right? Because Chris, Chris Redfield punches boulders, right? Okay. The boulders are also important in the Bible because that's what they use to, uh... To block off Jesus' tomb, but on Easter Sunday, the, the boulder has been moved, and who's powerful enough to move boulders? That's right, baby. For a sec, I was really hoping you said in the Bible they executed people by pushing boulders down cliffs onto them. I was really hoping that's what you were gonna that say. Kind of... Where the fuck's the dog? Where are you, dumb bitch? Get over here. Somebody hates dogs. Get the f Get over here. Bad boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a really bad boy. 
I just gave the dog a grenade. Flash a grenade for you. Where is there anything good in this hallway? Nope. Nope, you got everything. Yeah. Um The Defiler of the Accursed Cotham. Very dramatic. I like how in order to get to this part of the fucking mansion you have to kill a zombie. A very strong zombie. Yeah, but like some people just have like the key that they lock, probably. Anyway, shotgun shells. Yippee! I do see the first aid that I want. You wanna? Let me go. Let me get it. Oh, and a grenade. Grenade! Oh, oh, you went through the door. Oh no. It's a door. Door door. door. <laughs> Mamma mia. Mamma mia, let me in. Anyways. Which way will you go? Because fear can't kill you, but... Imagine the narrator is just pointing out somebody's ass. Brad! Team, come in. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Spawn. I repeat, this is Brad. Brad, this is Chris. Brad? Damn. This thing's broken. God damn it, I bet you Brad hasn't been playing football recently. Brad. Where are the other path fucking... There. Okay. Sorry, I had to translate that in case it didn't get picked up on the microphone. Fuck you. Fuck you. Girl, how do I fucking get this thing off me? Let me Google it. As well. Just cause... The fucking monkey sounds. Stop. <laughs> oh, it's still alive. Uh, oh, bitch. Get over here. Let's see. Dear Maria, counting in dogs. Is that out? What does the blue river do in this game again? Uh, Same as every other game? Yeah, it should be. That's the other swim Should I combine it with the green herb, you think? Up to you. I will. Why not? Okay, someone was saying about the dog, like, it kills him if it gets in melee range. And this fucking dick shit over here goes, I just like how people make it out to be the game's fault. Be better at dodging and shooting. If you get caught by a dog biting you, if you use your gamepad to twirl your thumbsticks and press the action slash run button until they get off. What a snobby answer. Just be better at the sh god awful movement and shooting that takes absolutely no skill. Just be better, dipshit. Who? Yeah, Fuck it, you. You're, you're doing something wrong. Clearly, shoot them a few times and avoid their attack. Shoot them a few more times. If you're just standing in one spot expecting to mow them down with a handgun, can you really blame the game if you get mauled by dogs? Better head toward those woods. But yeah, it sounds like you you mash the action button while twirling the left thumb stick in a circle. Which one's the action button? Which one runs? None. Oh. Is that a run button? Okay, hang on. Control the final one. Oh, X. X. You always run though. Oh, okay. Well, maybe try matching X while twirling the thumbstick. Okay. Yeah, 
This is mashing button slash control stick should do the trick. Wait, mash all directions on the D pad plus A and B. Apparently it registers better. I don't know. I would you could probably just spin it in a circle and hope for the best. Blue destruction. Time to solve the puzzle. What's the puzzle answer? Blue destruction, red revenge. Turn the direction. Okay. Blue goes north and red goes west. Do da do da. Blue goes north and red goes west. Da do da day. Press it. Weast. No. Blue goes north and red goes west. Do da do da. I'm like, you gotta say that a little louder so people can actually hear you. Oh my bad. Hmm? That's not what I would. That's not West Kerr. West. I do like how he showed up. I like how West is warning them about the thing in the woods. Mm -hmm. And only because he wants them to die to the fucking time. Ah. That's just really funny. Like, he's like, here, I'll, I'll teach you how to get past all the other defense mechanisms. Ah. Oh, that's right. There's something carved in the indentation. Two vertical lines across three horizontal lines. Could it be some kind of symbol? When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine in the heavens. That's where the wind crust goes. Mm. Okay. Haha. Uh Haha! -huh. Uh -huh. I get that. That's a chain and a... Oh, the woman laughing. Like, average sex moment. Wait, wait, where's the chain come in? She's freaky. Why is she la Why would it be average sex if she was having a chain? What, you don't use? I don't use? Chains? I'd have to have sex with somebody for that to happen. True. And after all, I'm a turbo virgin. That's what makes me such a chad. True. Ugh, I'm not a. I'm not a beta male. I'm a chad. I uh, Wesker would say that. You're not probably. You're probably not wrong. I could definitely see him saying that. Mm. He he would think he's the yogurt male of the group. Totally. Mm-hmm. A number of bandages have been hung up. Could these brown stains be blood? No, it's poop. Yeah, I think I think the the most obvious answer is the correct answer, Chris. I think someone's been shitting everywhere. <laughs> There's a map of the courtyard. Take it. Yes. Wow. Wow. That barely changed anything. It added a circle. It added a circle. Yeah. You know. You gotta have those circles. The crude bed. It looks like no one's using it in a long time. Maybe because it's crude. You fucking got him. Mm -hmm. Reload real quick. Yeah, we put the green herbs back. I will grab that though, cause yeah, cause we can go use that hopefully in a moment or two. I'm actually gonna do that before I activate the thing. Ooh. Any reason? Makes my life easier. Family yeah. picture. You're gonna lost by someone. Oh yes, yeah, so we can just. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Mom, where? I miss y'all. And that kid fucking sucks at spelling. <laughs> Sorry. What? 
it. I was just pointing it out. I mean, it's true. It's just really funny for you. Uh, look at this little kid. She sucks at spelling. You're just mad because that's how you write. Okay, hang on now. You didn't have to make it personal. Yes, I did. Wink. What, did, what does the wink signify there? I don't know. Whatever I feel like. Oh, okay. I don't think that's quite how winking works. Wee. I am running. That is, yeah, that's what you're doing. Yeah, my name is Chris Redfield. I'm in my 20s and I'm a star's agent. All women love me. I play football. Mm hmm. But not the piano. Mm hmm. I don't know what we get from this. Not just like ammo or some shit. I don't care. I'll take it. Yeah. yeah. Already have it, may as well. Oh no, you do get the. Okay, you just get the next. He says. Will you take the moon? So star? the moon is the two lines. The moon is the two lines. <laughs> star is the. I was in the. Sun was in the. I don't know. Look at the. Two lines. Two lines. This one's gonna be the plus sign. Plus sign. Three lines. Three lines. Would it be some kind of symbol? There's a button. Will you press it? There are two projecting lines. Wah! I gotta press all these buttons. Hold on. Go for it. Take your time. I'm sure the crows will wait. They got nothing better to do. They want to know. They, they just want to know what's in here too. Yeah. Nah, I'm pretty sure I remember what's in here. But I won't tell you. What do you think it is? I think it's ammo. Ammo? A real gun. What? <laughs> Magnum. <laughs> Was that everything in here, out here? Yep. Yes. I'm ready. <laughs> I bet you they're saying your mother's a stinky lady. I bet you they're actually saying, uh, I'm ready for the intercourse. I'm ready for the intercourse? I don't know. More. I think they'd more be like, I'm, I had coitus with your mother. I feel like they're more of a... Wesker. Yeah, well, you know. Crows aren't very... Do you think very... Wesker would be into women his own age, or is he like the male equivalent of a cougar? Well, I, I mean... Or do you think he likes older women? What, th what kind of woman? Uh... Would he have pursued? I, I feel like I would say older, but considering he had the the Rebecca photo on his desk in two, I gotta imagine he likes younger women. It sucks because he does seem like an older women type of man. I do and... think it would be very funny if he just had that. <laughs> like, no, like, not that he was, it, I, it would just be like, there. Like, I know the obvious answer is, like, something perverse, but it, it's just funnier to me in my head. Nah, he just he just kept forgetting her name, so he put a photo of her in there to try to remember better. That's actually what happened. <laughs> well, she is on the other team, so I can see why he'd be yeah. sure. Yeah, see, we have a reason. Boom, we saved it. Damn. We're <laughs> Wesker may be evil, but he's not into women younger than him. He's not like a- he's not chasing barely legal women. <laughs> yes. His plan may be barely legal, but his taste in women is definitely Okay, no, his plan is definitely very illegal. Not- it's not barely legal. <laughs> hey, he worked with Umbrella, they paid it off, so it's barely- it's technically legal because they got paid off. What? No. Will you take the crank? That <laughs> soldier boy! <laughs> is being a hitman legal because somebody paid for it? I mean, but like, the government is paying him off. 
So if the government says it's okay. I don't think the government paid him off to release the virus into the world. I didn't, he didn't release the virus. He wanted to kill stars off. Mm-hmm. Like, shh. Fucking idiot, Chris. God, you get, that's why you gotta check your corners. So anyway, that was mildly inconveniencing. Haha, <laughs> is that your mom's face? How cute! Cute. You... Is there like go past you? Yeah. Yeah, it's called, uh, walking. Bye bye. I mean, they probably can't run very fast. Their hands are tied up. Ooh. You know, you gotta get that arm pump action if you want to run fast. What? <laughs> it's not wrong! No, you're right. Sorry, I'm still thinking about Wesker's taste in women. Ah, yes. Very important knowledge. I just like thinking of, like, what about Chris? What kind of woman do you think he likes? Hot ones. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> Not even gonna argue that one. Chris is like, I need a woman with banging body. <laughs> yeah. That, that's. Yeah. He needs a personal cheerleader because he's a football star. Yes, yes. I mean, who wouldn't want to cheerlead for this hunk? What kind of woman will Wesker be like besides age? Like, what? Like, I think that's another reason why it's hard to see him with literally anybody is because I could not give you a single type of woman he would be into. Besides, like, like I don't think he's the trophy wife kind of guy. Like, I feel like he would only date a woman if she was in, like an intellectual equal with him because he would only be only be able to stand being around her if that were the case. Yeah, but I also part part of me thinks that he'd. <laughs> He'd date someone way less intelligent than him, so he'd feel better about okay, actually, himself. Both but then would also constantly complain that she's an idiot. Okay, actually, that also works. Uh, I think the emotional clip just because he just seems very pretentious enough to like yeah. only be like, I only date women who are my intelligence. Because like, yeah, well, yeah, that makes sense. But at the same time, yeah, like I just see him as. Uh, Needing to date a woman that's not not at all as smart as him, so he can feel like the better yeah. one in the relationship. I can also see that. But then I, I really can definitely see him just constantly getting mad that she's not as smart as yeah, him. Yeah, I, I do think I do think it either has to be a woman who is as smart as like who is at least close enough to being as smart as him, or a woman who doesn't know a goddamn thing. Yeah. He either needs like Harvard graduate or a bimbo. <laughs> Uh, and I mean that in the nicest way possible toward the woman. Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like he wouldn't want someone overly sexualized. I just meant bimbo, like in terms of like, because they're stereotypically not very smart. Yeah, I guess like I consider. I think of them. My first thought is, yeah, way over the top, like sexually. Yeah, true. But yeah, I guess the stupid thing is probably. I also could not see him being into a woman that's like overly sexual. You know, uh, right. like she'd be like, "Ooh, I like my titties out," and he's like. Mm -hmm. Promiscuous woman, be gone! Be gone. Oh. Be gone, foul woman. I rotate this stick too. Oh, that's her. Do I just have to like shoot these birds? You can, you can also just buy them though. That's the wrong thing, yeah. That's the waterfall of annoyance. Let's run back all the way over here. Cool. That was up the Now you're going forward. That way. I'm trying to go trying to go to Mini House. Yeah. It's Mini Mouse, it's Mini House. Ooh. Hmm? Hello? Chris Redfield. You would never understand my taste in women. Yes. Yes. Snakes! What do you think Wesker would do during the purge? Since we're doing Wesker what ifs. But to be honest, I he either would do it like he would either just release the virus. <laughs> <laughs> um or hear me out. Absolutely fucking nothing. Uh, he, ooh. That is a really weird color. That is just brown. 
This is the herb that would make me, like, do shit. Huh. I don't know, are you sure it's not the herb of your grandmother's ashes? Could be. <laughs> what do you mean, uh -huh. For fun. No! <laughs> That's not fun at all! Hey, Grandma! You can't carry any more items. I put shit in here. Yes, put the sheet in. A lot of herbs, I've noticed. Oh, I kind of like move like the actual like. What? I want to move the herbs slightly down and have like the. Oh, the heels that work. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason I'm almost imagining Wesker would go out and just try to kill as many people that he was annoyed with. Oh yeah. For the most petty things. Because you know he just keeps track of every little petty wrong someone does to him. Totally. Like, unironically, you are totally right on this one. Yes. Well, that's because I just, I, I, I understand Wesker. You know, he's sort of like the Joker, but for me... What do you mean? What? <laughs> Just the way you put me. Wesker is the Joker for me. Well, yeah, you know, Wesker is to me. Can I just me, put the crank back? Wesker is to me as the Joker is to gamers. Sure, go ahead. I don't think you need it for not, for a while. Clash and sound, assault, and grenade. Oh, grab the other blue herb real quick. Up in the blue herb. I want to look at the camera over there, but it's not. Available. I know, yeah, I had to move OBS because of the aspect ratio issues would like push OBS over chat. Well, not OBS. I was gonna say like the camera because sometimes your old camera used to go over there, but now it's up here. Well, yeah, yeah. When I do the two people stream, we do it from a different angle so we can actually both be on camera. Otherwise, I'd just be off camera and I could be doing whatever I want. I could just be butt naked running around. God, I wish you fucking were. <laughs> Were you trying to bash your head in? No, I was trying to rip my pants off. Oh. You tried. Yes. Although I'm not much of a pants ripper, I'm more of a pants gentler. You know? Oh yeah. What kind of pajamas does Wesker wear? I could not tell you. What do you think? I'm trying to Why think do I feel like he's someone who just goes to bed in like his workout? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. He just goes in like like a suit. Or like in his stars gear and he just goes to bed like that. I must always be prepared. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think Albert Wesker snores? I think I think he he very heavily demands. What is wrong that... with my controller? What? There we go. Oh. It was going like the wrong way sometimes. Huh. Uh uh, I feel like he very heavily demands that he doesn't snore, but he definitely does. You know, he's just very insistent that he doesn't snore. But then he go, me, me, me. Yes. Why did they feel the need to create giant spiders? Ah, uh, fuck if I know. Good answer. <laughs> <sighs> Do you, want to, do you want to have a prediction about how the conversation went? Hey. Hey, Wesker, I got an idea. Okay, who are you, who are you impersonating right now? Um, uh, uh, Spencer. Spencer? Who? The guy who made the mansion? I'm pretty sure he died, like, 500 years ago. <laughs> this is a ghost coming back. Okay, okay. Sorry, did you have fucking something to say to me? No. Anyway. Um, I think, uh, they went up to Wesker and they're like, uh, hi, I'm an umbrella worker, Wesker, and he's like, yes, and they're like, um, uh, please, please. You think he'd respond to that with, with someone saying I'm an umbrella worker with yes? <laughs> he would definitely be like, why should I care? <laughs> I don't fucking know, I'm just trying to get, this is all paraphrasing. I'm just, yeah, well, I want the exact okay, conversation. He goes, uh, Albert, uh, hello, sir, Wesker, sir, I need... I need a, I need, I have an idea, and he doesn't respond. Uh -huh. 
and they just keep talking anyway. They're like, um, so my idea is that we add, uh, giant spiders, uh, to the- I, I think we add giant spiders to our, uh, to our mansion. Mm -hmm. Oscar kind of turns. He turns back around. <laughs> Oh, what was that dramatic <laughs> blink? He'd be wearing sunglasses. Yeah, you wouldn't see the eyes, but I think yeah. he'd probably, he probably—he would have probably blinked behind them. He has eyes. Do you think he actually blinks, though? I think I, just a little bit. Ooh. I, I don't think Wesker blinks. <laughs> I have you seen him blink once? I wish he'd blink. Mm. <laughs> what, what does that even mean? <laughs> so you think some random intro? Oh, this is definitely one of the things Wesker put up. Do you think you think uh, a random intern just walked up to Wesker and tried to suggest spiders and was just like, "I think we need giant spiders." And then Wesker just either doesn't respond or just like literally like I think he would just fire them, okay? But then he adds the spiders, anyway. you know, and then cl and claim it was his idea. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, that doesn't seem anything significant about the order, but. Peter can't kill you, but... 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 <laughs> oh. That spider's just vibing. Ah. From the reddish light. Would it have some kind of meaning? Alright, I with a 3-1. Okay. Ooh, an orange oil lamp that is not lit. Cat's eye with no lash. Mm hmm. What spider? Yo, mama. Got him. But it has some kind of meaning. Okay, so three one cat by two zero. You say that a little louder, make sure the mic picks up on it. So the first eye was a normal eye with three lashes on the top and one on the bottom. The next one is a cat's eye with no lashes on the top or the bottom of the s The last one is going to be an eyeball with uh two lashes on top and none on bottom, and that's the order of red, orange, green. Okay. Oh, just a little more. Just a little bit more. Wahoo! It's me, Waluigi! <laughs> Fucking hell. Damn, when the box be like that. Hey, climb the box. Uh. Yippee! Yeah, now you won't get hit by tentacle. Mm, tentacle. Wesker, te tell me, Redfield. What do you think about tentacles? I think- They all seem to contain articles about stars. Yo! Someone's into astrology. The door plate reads gallery. What the fuck does this say? There's a map of the residence, take it. The residence evil? Uh... <laughs> There's a hole in the wall here. You see a giant beehive. Oh. oh! So who do you think brought up the giant bees? What do you think that conversation went like? <laughs> Albert Wesker, sir. Um, I was hoping I could do a, a bio biology study on our bees. <laughs> <laughs> he fires them <laughs> in the bees. People just stop talking to him entirely. <laughs> I don't know why this is such a funny concept to me. Can you just imagine, like, 
you're new to the job, you tell Albert Wesker your ID, you just get fucking fired, he takes it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Butter is leaking. You can't carry what? any more items! Boom. Boom. Warrant. Bees. Bees nuts. Ha! Got him. What? You're fired. I'm fired. What are you gonna take my bees nuts joke now yeah. and claim it as your own? Bees nuts. Could <laughs> <laughs> you imagine Doctor Wesker doing a fucking bees nuts joke? Oh no, he's he. You know, he's too classy for that. Yeah. Part of me, yeah, wants to believe that he would horribly attempt to be hip, but no, I don't- he'd definitely think he was above being hip. Oh, absolutely. He'd definitely be one of those people where like, ah, oh, yes, stuff was better in my generation, the music was better, now we have this crap music. You'd hear a song about sex and be like, this was disgusting, as if- uh, George Michael himself did not release a song back in the day, literally just called, like, I want your sex. Also, you can put the book away for now. Okay. That's like one of the last things you need. If you remember. If I remember. I just got fired by Wesker. Mm. Uh, I wonder who recommended the plant. We'll never know. It's probably Wesker. <laughs> Was it Wesker Wesker or like El uh, Albert I stole the plan Wesker from an intern? What do you mean? He's never stolen any plans. And if you say that he has, he'll fire you. <laughs> Crazy that they had so many employees that were able to die with how many people Wesker fired. Will you take the residence key? Residence key? Number 001 is imprinted. Ooh. Oh boy, we got room 001. What? What? You tried. Anyway. I yawned. And then you yawned. Oh. What the fuck did you get here, asshole? That's who I heard. I got... Also, we have a pecan pie in the oven currently, so I gotta go get that in like 17 minutes. Old newspapers and magazines lie on top of the bed. Some appeared to have vomited. Vomited blood on some of the newspapers. Wesker! Whoa, whoa, whoa. He would never use newspapers for that. Well, maybe. Depends if he agrees with them or not. That's definitely a zombie that should probably be burned. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get the caress. You're gonna be in here multiple times. Look out, the bees! I'm not where it a one for. Oh, it's probably all the way. Yeah, I think it's the, the little locked one. Excuse me, fucker. You should probably just- oh, Poisoned. They... Why do the bees poison you? It's a fucking bee! Am maybe, I allergic? Maybe they're not bees. Maybe they're wasps with poison. Albert Wesker, sir, I have an idea. I want to do research on bees, but like- Big they and poisonous. But instead of when they sting you and it just goes ouchy ouch, their uh, their stinger is actually uh, venomous, and it's to uh, protect our uh, to protect our uh, stuff from being uh, gotten. Uh, what the hell? Yeah. This kept moving. Hmm? Oh, you're most Wescarus. I have an idea. Yes. You know, a lot of interns get fired for whatever reason. I guess Umbrella's just too too hot to handle. That's so true. Oh wait, blue herbs are for poison, right? Yep. L. What do you mean L? L, I have to use the item that... What? L, I have that to use... That has no other usage. I have to use shit. Oh no! You have to use supplies in a survival horror game! Woo! You're fired. <laughs> oh, damn it. Not again. Ugh. Ah, bees! I'm gonna just shoot him. Yeah, I'm gonna try to. 
the fuck do I? What? Okay. Hopefully that's all of them. You would not believe your eyes if when ten million bees are alive. Split up the world as I fell asleep. Uh, okay. Light em up, 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 light em up, up, up. Oh, oh. Okay, we don't need the changing camera angles. Yeah, we do. Uh, Wink. Thanks, but no thanks. Who left all these pushable bookshelves? Yeah, mom. And whose idea was it for the pushable bookshelves? I'm gonna go check out 001 first. Mm hmm. Well, let me up here. Do you think? Do you think that was Wesker who came up with the pushable bookshelves? No, that was Birkin. <laughs> I think Birkin had said. I think Birkin was the one dude who could talk to Wesker about stupid fucking ideas and get like actual like conversation. Yeah. Besides, get out of my fucking office or you're fired. You know. Yeah. No, he definitely still be completely a grouch with him, but. He actually, Birkin's the only person he thought was almost on his level. Oh, yeah. Like, Birkin's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, hello, Wesker. Uh, can I, can I recommend an idea about we try a second virus? <laughs> Just in case the first one gets a and vaccine. <laughs> Sometimes the controller just does shit. What? You use the key for room one zero zero or zero zero one. Uh, I actually think uh, it's just because you're bad at the game. It's not the controller. Never don't blame the controller. Blame the game or the player. They're very discolored. Why is the, the mirror well polished but the toilet paper discolored? Because Wesker likes looking in the mirror. Oh, fair point. There's something inside! Control room key! Are you everything in here? Yep. Okay. Oh, well, is this guy getting up? Nope. Bye bye. Don't matter. Hey, uh, buddy, I think, uh. I think this isn't the time to be hanging around. There's a zombie apocalypse going on. Oh. What? <laughs> Is that everything in this room? Uh, no. Ooh, it's not. What the fuck is that? Did you take the self-defense gun? This is almost exactly one bullet. Uh, yes. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other survive. Okay. Yeah, we, we don't need the generic lore. Linda, please forgive me. Linda! Linda! Linda nuts! Loser? Okay, well, just because it's true doesn't mean you have to say it. <laughs> My loser. Aww. Anyways, uh, what do you- <laughs> Do you think anybody has ever just, like, insulted Wesker at Umbrella? Well, I guess it depends. Are you asking if they're still at Umbrella? Uh... <laughs> has anybody insulted Wesker and lived? Um... You know, that is a good I point. think maybe of all people, Birkin is the only person who could get away with it exclusively because they just- There's- There's a level of respect between them, I think. Like, nah, I even think, if they I fucking think, hate I each think other. I think Birkin was- would be too scared to oh, insult F. Wesker. Yeah, I feel like he could hypothetically get away with it, but he just wouldn't, you know? Yeah. Like, I think that's the one person- I think that Wesker could... would just threaten him. And then he'd be like, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Birkin just has anxiety. Yeah. Which fe felt, you know? Understandably so. But, uh, what do you think would happen if Wesker tried to work with goddamn Nathaniel Barn? Bar Barn? Bard. I think they would hate each other. Really bad. Like, ego <laughs> fight. Oh yeah, no, totally an ego fight. Do you think Wesker would, would back down from Bard, though, because Bard is just really loud? I don't think Wesker would back down. I think he would just find another way to get back at him. He'd be petty about it. I, I could see him not killing Bard. 
He wouldn't kill Bard, but I think he'd like frame Bard for like a, at least seven different crimes. <laughs> And have him do, no, I feel, under death I feel like with, with Bard, he would just go complete, like, petty mode. And so, like, he'd, like, take the staples out of his stapler <laughs> and stuff like that, you know? God, you're right. He'd, like, you know, he'd spend, like, half an hour using his pen to get all the ink out on a piece of paper and then put it back. He'd unplug his computer monitor, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he'd do that. Fucking wood. Yeah. That would yeah, that, that would actually be that would be really great. <laughs> That's the one reason Birkin hasn't said shit to Wesker. Yeah, yeah. Like he I he, feel, he, he yeah. wanted to call what he wanted to cuss Wesker out one day, but then her doing did to fuck but then her and Nathaniel Bart got in a fight with him and suddenly everything in his life was going wrong and he's like, you know what? I I like my pens. I like my ink. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want my printer being out of, of magenta ink every time yeah. I try to print out, like, a fucking scientific paper. Yeah. So I'm good. I will not insult Albert. Mm. <laughs> that box just clipped through. Did you see that? Oh, no, I wasn't paying enough attention. He st yeah, I feel like he'd just stick gum under Bard's desk. Like, he doesn't chew gum. He would just specifically take gum, chew it, like, twice, and slap <laughs> it under his desk. What? <laughs> Right. Now I'm just trying to think of petty ways that I feel Wesker would mess with somebody. Richard! Richard! What? How did he get here? Chris! Chris, stop! No! <laughs> That's one way to die in this version. Richard. Miss? What the fuck? Why, Richard? So these are sharks that nobody in particular made. I, I think, uh, see here's my idea for the spiders and the sharks and the snake, is that, I think I mentioned this before, Albert Wesker specifically asked each of the stars, like, like, like listen to one of their conversations they're talking about like their greatest fears or whatever. Things they dislike, yeah. Um, and then, uh, they, somebody mentioned sharks and he just was like, Mmm, write that down. <laughs> Tentacles. I don't know why I said that so happily. What, do you like tentacles? Uh, only on the weekends. Elaborate? No. <laughs> okay. Shark. Ooh. What other ways would... Wesker pedally mess with people. Um, I think he'd like, you know how like some chairs have like wheels on them so they can move around? Oh, okay. I think he'd make one of the wheels just a little like too off oh. to where like it, like, you know how like in the shopping carts, like the one of the wheels won't just won't turn so like it keeps like drifting? <laughs> he'd find a way to mess with it, yeah. Yeah, I could see that, <laughs> yeah. Or he'd like change the chair's height constantly, like he'd go in there and shorten it or make it taller than the person likes every time. Oh yeah. I think Wesker would just be like intentionally the worst fucking person to work with for that reason. Yeah, if, if you do it, yeah. You never want to mess with him because he'll just like make your life a piece of shit. Yeah, just he'll just really inconvenience you. An oil push your regulator. There's no need to adjust it now. <laughs> Caution, in case of a drop in oil pressure control, open valve three. Nah, Val would never do that. They wouldn't even release Half-Life 3. Yeah, they had to name it something else. Cowards. Yes. Emergency. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking hmm. all doors to achieve maximum safety. But like, why, Shark? Why would you do that? There's no need to adjust the pressure right now. The shelter is locked. Release safety, yes. Woo! Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Not resume drainage. Fuck. 
Crouch buttons I gotta press. So, yep. So, yep. Okay. Oh, pressure the law. Restore oil, bless you. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I wasn't trying to do an ooh, ooh voice there. I just said restore instead of restore, and I kind of had to. Restore oil, bless you. Fifty percent. Honestly, the worst fucking enemy. This is the goddamn controls. <laughs> I have to release the safety again. Fuck you. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, I think you just need to get good at the game. I hate when people blame this on controls. Just be good. Just, you know, dodge and shoot. Hi, I'm the random person on the Game Informer forums from seven years ago. <laughs> Gamers like that are just the absolute worst. They really are. Like Just the absolute worst. Like, who do you think is going to be so proud of you? Yeah. Not your mother. Yes, just because you can you play through and beat the game doesn't mean you know doesn't mean the controls are particularly well done. Sorry. Can I see what the item is that I missed in here? Uh, Do you see the item? It's probably behind the table. The table? The table. Do you see the table? Now, yes. All the way around. Oh, the map. There's a map. There's a map. There's a map. There's a map. Map. There's a map. There's a map. Is that everything? Yep. Once again, my psychic abilities helped us out in this scenario. Find the map. Find the map. Okay. <laughs> I map. I'm sorry, I keep thinking about Penny Wesker. <laughs> do you ever think he'd do that to a Stars agent ever? I feel like he'd want to, but then he would hold back. Like he'd really want to probably at points. Oh, Magnum Rounds. Ooh. But but he knew that it would just Yeah, it would just end poorly and he's he's trying not to upset people at Stars because he needs to stay, you know, in good terms with them. Oh yeah. Let's see what's up here. So maybe like very occasionally he'd do something, but he'd just do like one thing and nobody would know who it was. Unlocking the door! You unlocked it! Yeah, about a two minutes I'm gonna get the town pie out of the oven. How many minutes? Two. Ooh. Like a minute and a half. Sad that the pie has to wait for two hours. I kind of wanted to have a piece first. I know, it sounded good. It smells good from. Yeah, I can smell a teensy bit in here. You're trying to smell it, but we'll get some tomorrow. Shotgun shell! Shotgun shell! Shotgun shell! Who needs diving suits when you can be. A football player. The only thing I'm diving in is the field. And that pussy, cause I'm very straight. And not gay, cause I play football. Sack. With the timer jump scare. <laughs> Generator, pull the lever down. Pull the lever up. Oh shit, I got an email, bro. Poga. Oh my god! Big Shack is still alive. What do you what do you think Wesker would name this shark? He'd probably he'd probably go with the me naming scheme when he'd just name it Shark. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> No, not shark. He'd probably name it its scientific name. Ah, uh, yeah. God, he would, wouldn't he? Yeah. Oh, 
Albert Wesker, the kind of guy to say uh, sodium chloride. I have no idea what they're used for. That's right, baby girl. I only play football. I could get a gun? I'm just gonna use that for now. Gun! Yes! everything in this room all right let's go I got the salt shotgun really how it was just out there when the shark was dead oh um, I mean, it was probably there before and I just didn't see it, but uh, uh, when I examine it, it uh, tells me Fires 12 gauge shells, a star's custom arsenal, and also Richard's favorite. Oh! Good thing Richard's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go for about 15 more minutes before we gotta make dinner, but the pie turned out pretty nice looking. Oh, I smell it. Yeah, it just smells like syrup. <laughs> yeah, it does. There's a ladder here. Climb up. Yes, yeah, so you get a you get a new upgraded shotgun. It's a Star's custom. Do you know who? I wonder who made it. Who who who? I wonder if it was Kendo. Kendo nuts. It's a lot of donuts. <laughs> You're so right, bestie. Did you get anything else of interest? Did you get a key or something? Yeah, I got the residence key. The residence key. No. no. Residence no, key. No, no, no! Don't do it. Don't even try. It's not working. The residence. Residence key. Residinski? <laughs> that sounds like a really bad fucking Polish name. Yeah, you gotta go talk to President. President, uh. <laughs> what's the. I, resident. Residenski. Isn't this the guy who made Resident Evil? Ambassador Residenski? <laughs> Probably. I'm gonna save. Yeah, it's been a while. And congrats, you didn't die to the shark twice. I didn't die to the shark once. Yesterday you did. Or not yesterday, last time. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. Yesterday. You remember the sharks from yesterday? I think I did so well on that one exclusively because I remember dying on that fucking section. Yeah. That's how you learn. Yep. At least in a game like this, that's, you know, not ridiculously hard. I mean, you know, you can know what to do, but not be able to do it in games that are meant to be harder. Um, but in a game like this, yeah. Or just a puzzle, you know. You remember what to do because you died on it. Yep. See, this is objective proof uh, that the person on the forums who was a dick probably played Dark Souls. Oh, yeah. You can you can almost just like tell with some people if they play Dark Souls just because of their attitude toward gaming, because they're anti-fun. Oh my God, bee! You wouldn't believe how many bees I had to shoot to get to this position. You would not believe your eyes. When Richard fucking died. Oh yeah, do you remember this code? Yep. Okay, so it's... Wait, wait. Nice. How'd you figure it out? What was the... I don't remember what the solution was. I just remembered what co what each of the lamps and the balls were and then what uh, eyelashes they had. Oh, okay. Chris doesn't know much about science. Write that down. Write that down. 
There's something written on the wall. One plus three is four. Four plus six is ten. One plus six is seven. Ten plus seven is seventeen. And seventeen plus three is twenty. Um. Okay, so we gotta remember, Chris is straight and doesn't know much about science. You don't know much about medicine, so there's no point. I'll look at, I'll look at the, I look at red. No. Well. So glad I unlocked that room to not know a single thing in there. Well, to be fair, Chris is not very good at science. Listen here, you little bitch. Beach? Yeah, I was trying to combine bitch and shit. Or no, not bitch. B and shit, and then I was just like, no. Like Literally. You mean bitch and B. No, I was gonna go for shit and B, but I was like, that doesn't work, and it just sounds like bitch, so I just went with bitch. Oh, there's still something in the fucking. Oh. There's a bee! Bee at the bee. Wee! Wee! What's your favorite Nintendo Wii game? Mad World. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what that is! I don't fucking know, you're right. Oh, this is some interesting lore. Thank you, Henry. Henry, cool. I'm sure Wesker fired you. <laughs> that was everything in this room? Alright. Okay. Maybe now Chris knows something about science. Probably not. Long one. I get everything in here, sorry. No. That's right, because I gotta get rid of the bees. I gotta get rid of the bees. Bees. A corpse with a contorted expression of pain on his face. And he's holding something. Will you take the insecticide spray? Yes, goodbye. Now that I think about it, I bet you that's the guy who came up with the bee idea. <laughs> and that's why Wesker released the bees, just to get back at him. He's like, oh yeah, we'll get some bees, all right, fucking loser. Yeah. He's the guy that would have bullied me in school, but also get bullied himself. Oh, yes. Well, he'd try to be a bully and just fail. I think he, yeah, he would try. And that's why I liked it in my Resident Evil 5 uh, presentation. I wrote that Chris bullied him, even though Chris was like 10 years younger and also a child, and he was a high schooler, and then got made fun of in high school because a six-year-old kicked him in the nuts. Ah, yes. Um, and he can never return to his house, his his uh, friends again, because his friends are like, "You got kicked in the nuts by a six-year-old fucking loser, bitch ass little loser." Um, and then he couldn't be a bully because he got made fun of for getting kicked in the nuts by a six-year-old, and his entire life fell apart, and that's why he became a supervillain. Ah yes. So. <laughs> so after that. <laughs> yeah, no, just just a just a game theory. The theory, a game theory. Yes. Okay, let's uh, examine. What room is this for? Ooh. Zero, zero, three. Oh. Yeah, that guy just vibing. He's straight up vibing, yo. Yo. Do, do, do. Yeah, honestly, if they really didn't want stars to get very far, they could have just tricked them into thinking that they were done with the key and discard it. Man, they just are psychics. There's something in the bathtub. Hey, it's a dagger. That's where I put my daggers. Right in the full bathtub. Just just in case, you know, you want to, we want to take a bath. Is that how Wesker deterred people from trying to take baths on the job? Just stuck daggers in their bathtubs? <laughs> you fucking mad to go take a bath and there's just a goddamn knife. Yeah. Giant plants crushing walls, or your mobs surround it. Your view is blocked by a dense thicket of trees. Not a very good view. There's one way. Look. Yes. Ah. Ah. Interesting. UMB. Uh, 
the space between the books catches your attention. Well, I know what to do there. After I save. After you save! <sighs> Every time one of us yawns, the other person ends up yawning. Hmm. Whenever I yawn, I feel like I have to like unhinge my jaw. Oh. Gotta go full unhinged jaw mode. I'm curious, what if I just open this door? It's blocked from the other side. Ooh. Nope, I'm not gonna open it. Sorry, fam. See, we have not heard from Barry in a while. He went missing. I think he's just dead at this point. You think? He might be. So, he, so Barry survives in Jill's campaign and then just eats shit and dies in Chris's immediately? <laughs> That'd be really funny. <laughs> I don't know, just Chris's campaign hates dads. Yeah, fair enough. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put you in here. Mm -hmm. right, I need to get myself some green herbs to mix real quick. You need some green herbs to mix. to hear the Barry and Wesker. I can't wait to hear uh, Wesker coming up. Because I remember in Jill's campaign, Wesker shows up and he's like, Urn, Jill, beware. So you don't get that in Chris's campaign. Where uh, Wesker shows up like, beware. One of us might be an imposter. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -bum. I like how we're like, I, I feel almost bad making this man out to be the most incompetent soul. Who? Wesker. We, we're not well, saying he's, he's incompetent. He's, com he's competent, but I just, we make him sound like a fucking silly little guy. Yes. That's because he is a silly little guy. What? What? Knees. How do you think Wesker felt about that book graphic? Um, he thought it was what people should get horny to. Do you think he only jacks off to Renaissance paintings? That makes sense. More like it's point forty two. Oh, yeah, it is forty two. The other one's forty three. Whoops. Shot him. Ah! Why so acid? Oh. What, what the fuck did it do? Maybe it closed up? Well, it closed up before. Oh, okay, maybe. Um. Unlocking you? Yep. Yeah. Nothing was blocking that door, you fucking liar. 
Tisk tisk. Chris is just a big fat liar. He just was scared to open the door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? We know how to make it, Chris. Yeah, but he doesn't know much about science. I just have to fucking brute force this goddamn thing. You might. I honestly don't remember. Oh, we get some fucking ammo if that's the case. <laughs> I like how it literally lets me unlock the room to learn how to do the stupid medicine. Well, you just gotta, you know, you gotta have someone who knows how to do medicine. I gotta fucking find Rebecca. <sighs> Do I, have to tra do I have to go all the way back and be like, hey, Rebecca? I don't believe so. Nah, she probably comes in after you do enough damage. Oh, probably. That's my answer, can you guess? That is a lot of track, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Not sure about those. I'm gonna... Actually, I don't trust myself because I, I get stuff locked a lot. I'll grab two. Hey, you got the space! Go oh, beat up a plant. So who came up with plant 42? Who's like, we need a giant plant. Oh, I think we already saw the guy's name, actually. Yeah, it was Wesker. No. <laughs> it was in a... Or... No, I know you're talking about. Alright, this is just one of the researchers. But I'm assuming they probably had a good chunk of it. Uh, Henry uh, Sarton. Well, yeah, he was. Uh, he might not have come up with the idea, though. I think he might. I I'd believe in him. But Wesker says it was him anyway. What do you mean? Of course it was Wesker. He comes up with everything for Umbrella. So true. I mean, Umbrella would just pretty much be useless without him. Just because of how handsome he is. Hello, Mr. Acid Plant. Are these things I have to shoot? No, no, that's just decoration. Oh my god. I think your best bet is probably being on the top part. Okay. Because, yeah, it looks like you probably just get stun locked on their knees. It probably just drips acid. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's what I do when I stick something up my butt. I like how Jill comes in with like fucking like chemicals. And then Chris is like, well, I read that note, but I don't know shit. So. <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't know science. That is really funny to me. I'm sorry. It's because he's. It's because he's, uh. Not gay. Does this imply Wesker is? On the sheer basis of knowing science. Uh. We found a loophole. Nah, maybe. maybe you know, whatever. Mansion key! The mansion key! Why are you walking me. away from the door? Okay. Yeah, it's dead. But what's dead? What? Richard. He's gone. <laughs> he likes sandwich. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have watched out. Watched out. <laughs> Found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. <laughs> Promise? Wish we found a pharmaceutical room. What is it? This one? I'm not sure. Aha! This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Want me to treat your wounds? Huh. Yeah, would you? Oh, look, let's look at this arm. 
Thanks. Dude, imagine your nurse healing just starts weeping. Well, yeah, you know. Be strong, Rebecca. Oh, that's good advice. Thanks. Dude, she's like eighteen. <laughs> And then she just goes back to staring at the <laughs> stuff. Dude, she's in a dissociative trance. Sleep her the fuck alone. Uh, so I think we should say before, because what key is that? Let's just take a look. <gasps> Whisker. Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we got separated. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. Let's head to the basement. The area is still to be explored in that area. <laughs> I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. That achieved absolutely oh, nothing. nothing! Yeah! <laughs> I, love, I just love. I thought you were with Jill. Yeah, we got we got separated. Yeah. So what key is that? Probably the helmet key. Yes. Okay. Let's save here, and then we'll go tomorrow and get to the uh, back into the mansion and use the Helmut key. Helmut. Uh, without Wesker, who will be exploring stuff here. You know, the place that we just thoroughly explored. Thanks, Wesker. Well, he's just doing a back sweep, okay? Give him a break. I, I just, the way he said we got separated, I'm like, yeah, how the fuck does nobody know that this is the bad guy? Well, you see, everyone's bad at speaking in this universe <laughs> in a convincing manner, so. Do they just assume, like, there's just, like, it innate something wrong with Wesker and just don't question it? Well, the. Let's just what hap- right, let's, I don't need to go put these wigs, I just saved, okay. But, okay. Oh, wait, let me. Boop. Uh, they don't question Wesker on his stupid little sunglasses and the way he speaks because they just assume, like, that's just what happens. It's just his his, his vibe. He's just quirky, guys. He's just quirky. <laughs> I just, it's so fucking, like, maybe it's just because I know it's him who's the bad guy now. Wait, he's like... the bad guy? <laughs> I remember being so thrown off. Like, I remember being a little thrown off when we were fucking playing the game. I just, I wasn't thinking him because I'm like, he, he's so pretty. Like, yeah, you got you got a little too into him yeah, before got, he was evil. Before he was, and then it got even worse. Yeah, and then he became the Joker to you. He's my Joker. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I just think it's very funny. Just, how, how the fuck do you just, I thought you were with Jill. We, we got separated. <laughs> <laughs> like, what on her? The most stone face. He just said we it to like. We got separated, Chris. Oh uh, yeah, Jill, Jill, we got separated. Like, I felt like he came, I had to, like, he really had to think hard on that one. I just, man, he's so fucking, like, he he's competent in the sense that he's able to trap an entire series of people in a mansion and, like, almost kill them. Uh -huh. Um, He's incompetent in the way he fucking speaks. Yes. Like, the way he talks just makes him sound, like, even if he were completely innocent, like, I feel like, I meant, like, I feel like they go to work and, and Wesker would be like, ah, oh, yes, uh, have a good day, and then and it'd be like, why does it sound like he's threatening me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so when he actually is suspicious, he just nobody questions nobody it. Nobody questions it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a big brain strap by him. It is. So, anyways, that'll wrap things up for today's stream. He'll be streaming again later tonight, as always. Hope to see you guys then. Thanks for watching, and Bye. goodbye, Chris.